so effectively what this becomes is the first true vertically integrated cryptocurrency company uh, to be a publicly listed asset. And so you've got basically the only way to play a long-term diversified way that has seemingly gotten regulatory clearance uh, at this point um, is Coinbase. And there's a lot of operating leverage to Coinbase. Most of their fees are made in crypto, whether it be Bitcoin, Ethereum, or otherwise. And so you've got this significant leverage towards the asset class. And now with the publicly listed equity, which is certainly very richly valued, they can be one of the more acquisitive companies in the space, being something akin to a Salesforce in the CRM world, where you have this roll-up strategy over time. And so they'll continue to develop over the years. It's an amazing time for the industry. This is a very legitimizing agent for uh, you know, what's been a very long game for a lot of us and a very exciting day. Okay, uh, so what about brewing competition? Now, Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, they are opening their own crypto desks. Uh, in this part of the world, DBS, which is a leading bank, a Southeast Asian leading bank, uh, is also setting up a, a digital exchange. Uh, if traditional banks start going that route, what would that mean for Coinbase? Yeah, so, so there will certainly, without question, be competition. There'll be fee compression, which is why I think diversifying the business is important. Uh, Goldman Sachs reported their earnings, their quarterly earnings this morning. Uh, they also brought Coinbase public, or they advised the listing, I should say, given it was a direct listing. In the, in the uh, schedule of comments of David Solomon, the CEO, he referenced cryptocurrency. So they're very much engaged, as are other banks, with this space and, and are really concerned about how it may disrupt their incumbent business lines. So without question, they'll continue to evolve and, and they're gonna take their time and they're in no rush to get there. But you have Morgan Stanley and Goldman Sachs, as you mentioned, offering cryptocurrency investment uh, vehicles to their clients now and, and over time will engage with the ecosystem more and more. Um, competition is highly likely in any very um, you know, economically viable businesses over time. Michael, it's, it's a good time, obviously, for Coinbase to go public, considering that Bitcoin has risen nearly ninefold over the past year. But there is a Bank of America fund manager survey which shows that professional investors, you know, fund managers out there, three quarters of them survey believe that Bitcoin is in a bubble. What if that bubble burst? What would happen to Coinbase? So Coinbase, as I mentioned, a lot of their business line is levered towards the space, right? Their trading revenue makes up a majority of their revenues currently. So if you're looking at kind of next 12 months, certainly if you're looking at trailing 12 months, but even next 12 months, you do have to look at the price of cryptocurrency and the volumes going through the system. If there is a pop in the bubble and the bubble pop that exists in the forward will, will not look as much like the ones we've seen previously, because there's not as much retail leverage in the system as there once was. There's better market structure, there's derivative markets, so volatility is compressed. So whereas we, we're used to seeing an 80% drop every four years, we'll probably something see something significantly less than that. But with that drawdown will come meaningful drawdowns in notional value being traded in crypto, and also the price of crypto comes down. And so you get that sort of multiplier effect on the Coinbase uh, revenue line that you get in bullish environments to the upside, you get that to the downside. So it is almost like a pseudo levered play in the space at the current time. But I, like I said earlier, I think this is very much a long-term bet, particularly for institutions, particularly for the venture capitalists that still own a large portion of the equity. Um, they're looking at the forward, they're not looking at the, at the, at the historicals for Coinbase.